Hello, and welcome to the Folklore and Fiction Podcast. My name is Kelly McCath Morin. I'm a PhD candidate in the Folklore Department at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I'm also a speculative fiction writer under the pseudonym C.S. McCath. The Folklore and Fiction Podcast and Dispatch synthesize these passions with a focus on folklore scholarship aimed at storytellers. You'll find the Folklore and Fiction archive, along with the rest of my work, online at folkloreandfiction.com. Interested listeners will find a link to the current dispatch in the show notes, where a more comprehensive record of this episode can be found, including a bibliography and other references. In this episode, I'll be exploring ATU-852, Lying Contest. This month's discussion is all about lies and the liars who tell them. So let's begin with a folktale featuring the Ashlad, that underestimated but entirely too clever Norwegian character. Ashlad, who got the princess to say he was lying. There once was a king who had a daughter, and she told such lies that nothing could be worse. Then he decreed that anyone who could tell a big enough lie that the princess would say he was lying could have both her and half the kingdom. Many tried, for everyone wanted to have the princess and half the kingdom, but it didn't go well for any of them. There were also three brothers who wanted to try their luck. The two older brothers were the first to set off, but it went no better for them than for all the rest. Then the ash lad set off. He found the princess in the cowshed. Good day, and nice to see you again, he lied. Good day, she said. Nice to see you again, too. I bet your cowshed isn't as big as ours. When two herdsmen stand at either end and blow on their billy goat horns, they won't be able to hear each other. Oh, there you're wrong, said Ash Lad. Ours is much bigger. When a milk cow starts at one end, She won't give birth to her calf until she gets to the other side. Is that right? said the princess. Well, I bet you don't have an ox as big as ours. Take a look over there. If someone sits on each horn, they won't be able to reach each other with a goalpost. That's nothing, said Ashlad. We have an ox that's so big that when someone sits on each horn and blows on a lure, they won't be able to hear each other. Is that right? said the princess. I'll bet you don't get from your cows as much milk as we do from ours, she said. We use big basins for the milking. Then we bring the milk inside, pour it into big pans, and make big rounds of cheese. Oh, we use big vats for the milking, said Ashlad. Then we put the milk in carts and wheel them inside. We pour the milk into big wash tubs and make cheeses as big as a house. Then we get a mare, pale as a moose, to stamp cheese into big piles. One time the mare gave birth in the cheese, and after we'd eaten from that cheese for seven years, we found inside it a big horse, pale as a moose. I was once supposed to take the animal to the mill, and suddenly its back flew right off, but I knew just what to do. I picked up a spruce sapling and set it on the horse's back. That's the only back the animal ever had for as long as we owned it. But the spruce grew. It got so big that I climbed up the tree to heaven. When I got there, I saw the Virgin Mary spinning ropes out of soup grains. All of a sudden, the spruce blew away, and I couldn't get back down. But the Virgin Mary lowered me down on one of the ropes, and I landed in a fox den. There sat my mother and your father mending shoes. Suddenly, my mother hit your father so hard that the scabs flew off him. You're lying, said the princess. My father has never in his life been scabby. ATU-852 Lying Contest is a realistic tale under the subcategory The Man Marries the Princess, and the ATU Index summarizes it this way, quote, Lying Contest. Previously, the hero forces the... This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast is a preview, and you can listen to the full episode on the Folklore and Fiction website. 
Just click on the dispatch link in the show notes or go to folkloreandfiction.com and sign up for a free account. Thanks very much for your interest. Copyright 2019 to 2023. Kelly S. McCath Morin. All rights reserved unless Creative Commons licensing is specifically applied.